emphasizing the divine nature of Christ within the Trinity. Justin Martyr, also known as Justin the Philosopher, was an early Christian apologist and philosopher. Born around AD 100 in Flavia Neapolis modern-day Nablus, Israel, he initially followed pagan beliefs but later converted to Christianity. His works, though mostly lost, have left a significant impact on Christian thought. Justin Martyr engaged in apologetics, defending and explaining Christian beliefs to non-Christians. He also delved into philosophical discussions, seeking to reconcile Christian faith with Greek philosophy. Two of Justin's writings have survived. These early Christian thinkers navigated the intersection of faith and reason, drawing from both philosophical traditions and Christian teachings. Their engagement with philosophy helped shape the intellectual landscape of early Christianity and laid the groundwork for subsequent theological developments. Greek philosophy and its relationship with Egyptian thought have been a subject of scholarly debate and exploration. While it's essential to recognize the distinct contributions of both cultures, there are intriguing connections and influences worth considering. 1. Herodotus' claim The ancient Greek historian Herodotus asserted that many Greek gods and religious practices were borrowed from the Egyptians. While this statement might be an oversimplification, it highlights the cross-cultural exchange between the two civilizations. 1. Plato, for instance, traveled to Egypt and was exposed to Egyptian religious ideas. Some scholars argue that certain Greek philosophical concepts, such as dualism the separation of body and soul, and the notion of an eternal soul, bear similarities to Egyptian thought, mystery schools and hidden wisdom. Both Greek and Egyptian cultures had mystery schools where esoteric knowledge was transmitted. Eleusinian mysteries. Among the most famous, these were held in Eleusis, near Athens. Initiates participated in secret rituals honoring Demeter and Persephone. The mysteries promised insights into life, death, and rebirth. Dionysian mysteries. Dedicated to the god Dionysus, these mysteries celebrated ecstasy, wine, and altered states of consciousness. Participants engaged in wild dances and rituals. Orphic mysteries rooted in the teachings of the mythical poet Orpheus. These mysteries emphasize purification, reincarnation, and the soul's journey. Egyptian Mystery Schools Secret Wisdom For over 3,000 years, Egyptian mystery schools epitomized secret wisdom and knowledge. Scholars speculate that their great teachers came from extraordinary places. Indeed, the ancient land of Egypt beckoned seekers from distant corners of the world. Their pilgrimage was not merely to witness the grandeur of the pyramids or the Nile's fertile banks. No, their quest was far more profound a pursuit of hidden knowledge, the elixir of eternity, and the keys to immortality, the magi. These enigmatic magicians, steeped in esoteric arts, held court in shadowed chambers. Their robes whispered secrets, and their eyes bore the weight of centuries. Seekers from Babylon, Persia, and beyond crossed deserts, guided by starlight, to learn from these magi. They sought not gold or earthly power, but the alchemy of the soul. The Hierophants, within temple precincts, Hierophants guarded sacred scrolls and cosmic truths. Their brows bore the weight of cosmic cycles, and their voices resonated with primordial echoes. Initiates, clad in white linen, prostrated before them. They yearned for initiation, to pierce the veil that shrouded existence. The Hierophants held the key syllables that unlocked the celestial gates. The secrets of immortality, seekers believed that these teachers held the elixir of life, the lost syllables of creation, and the map to the stars.